Hello, I am Assistant Professor Mangesh Damdade from SVKT College, Nasik. In the previous lecture, we have studied about these topics in the atomic and molecular physics. The, in the previous lecture, we covered the topics such as the Pauli's exclusion principle, Hunt's rule, electronic configuration, and quantum state of electron. This topic we have discussed in detail. Now, in today's lecture, we will uh, study about the spectral notations of the quantum states and we will solve some examples based on the spectral notations of the quantum states. So, today's, in the today's lecture, our learning objectives will be to understand the spectral notations of quantum states and to find the spectral notations for various terms and to solve the examples based on the spectral notations. So, uh, let's start with the concept of spectral notations of quantum states. Now, for writing uh, the atomic states, it is necessary to know the orbital angular momentum L bar, spin angular momentum S bar, and the total angular momentum J bar of the atom. And note that these quantities are written in the capital letters. So, here capital J, capital L, and capital S is there. These are for the uh, quantum numbers for the atoms. So here, the total angular momentum of an atom is the vector sum of orbital and the spin angular momentum of an atom. So whenever you want to calculate the total angular momentum of the atom, you have to add the orbital angular momentum of the atom, capital L bar, and the spin angular momentum of the atom, capital S bar, vectorially. It is not algebraic sum, but it is a vectorial sum. So it is given as a J bar equals to L bar plus S bar, where capital L bar is the summation of all the angular momentum of the electrons. So capital L bar equals to summation over Li bar. Here small Li bar indicates the angular momentum of an individual electron in the atom. And also, we will only consider here the valence electrons in the atom. So, small li bar are the angular momentum of the valence electron. And uh, capital S bar equals to summation of si bar, where small s is the spin angular momentum of each and every electron in a valence orbit of the atom. So, capital S bar is the spin angular momentum of an atom, and it is the vector sum of spin angular momentum of all electrons. Capital L bar is the vector sum of angular momentum of orbital angular momentum of all electrons. Now the addition of the uh, total angular momentum of an electron, the addition of the orbital angular, total orbital angular momentum of an electron and the total spin, capital S bar, gives the total angular momentum J bar. So if you add the capital L bar, which is the total angular momentum of the atom, and capital S bar, which is the total spin angular momentum of the atom, then you will get the capital J bar, which is the total angular momentum of the atom. And this type of coupling between L bar and S bar is called as the Russell-Saunders coupling. And this Russell-Saunders coupling is applicable for the atoms having a lower atomic numbers. So here, this J bar, which is the total angular momentum of the atom, is characterized by the total angular momentum quantum number, small j. So whenever you want to find the capital J bar, you require a small j, which is the total angular momentum quantum number. The total angular momentum is also quantized, like of the L bar and S bar. The orbital angular momentum L bar is quantized, and it is uh, quantized by the orbital angular momentum quantum number. The total spin quantum number S bar is also quantized. And uh, similarly, the total angular momentum J bar is also quantized. And uh, it is given by capital J bar, uh, its magnitude, the magnitude of the total orbital angular momentum quantum number is given by J bar magnitude equals to square root of small j j plus 1 into h upon 2 pi, where small j is the total angular momentum quantum number. So you can find the magnitude of the total angular momentum of an atom by using 
the total quantum number of the atom. So the total angular momentum of an atom is decided by the last unpaired electron in an atom. The core of electrons in an atom do not contribute to the total angular momentum j bar of an atom. So here we have to consider only valence electrons. Now the total number of allowed values of uh, capital J for the given L and S are J starts from L plus S to L minus S by the difference of 1. So the values of J are from L plus S to L minus S and the difference between each value is of 1. For example, if we have the orbital angular momentum of an atom L equals to 3 and the spin angular momentum of an atom S equal to 3 by 2 for example then J will be from 3 plus 3 by 2 which is 9 by 2 to 3 minus 3 by 2 which is 3 by 2 so J values will be from 9 by 2 to 3 by 2 and they are given here 3 by 2, 5 by 2, 7 by 2 and 9 by 2 these are the four values of the J. In general, there are two S plus one different values of J. So each value of J gives a separate atomic states. So if you know the value of S, then you can calculate how many values of J are there. They are in general two S plus one values and each value gives a separate atomic state. So J value gives the separate atomic states. So this shows that there are two S plus one different energy states of for the atom. So if you consider any atom, then there are two S plus one different energy states of having the same energy and this quantity is called as the multiplicity of the atomic state. So two S plus one is known as the multiplicity of the atomic states and it also gives the number of different energy states for the atoms. For capital S equals to 0, the multiplicity will be 2 S plus 1 equals to 1 and which represent the singlet state energy level for a singlet state. For S equals to half, the 2 S plus 1 will result in a 2 and the multiplicity of the atomic state is 2 which represent the doublet energy level or simply doublet state. For S equals to 1, 2 S plus 1 equals to 3 that is multiplicity is 3 and uh, that represent the triplet energy state. Okay, so S equals to 0 multiplicity is uh, 1 and which is a singlet for 2 S for S equals to half multiplicity is 2 which is a doublet for S equals to 1 multiplicity is 3 which is a triplet. Also one thing you have to remember that whenever the orbital angular momentum L is less than S. So whenever L is less than S then the number of values of J are 2 L plus 1 otherwise they are 2 S plus 1 but whenever L is less than S whenever capital L is less than S the total number of values of J are 2 L plus 1. The atomic states are denoted by the capital letters S, P, D, F, G, etc. which corresponds to the capital L equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 respectively. In the previous lectures we have seen that the atomic states of the or electronic states is denoted by the small letters small s, small p, small d, small s and small g. And here the atomic states are denoted by the capital letters capital S capital P, capital D, capital F and G which gives us the value of the angular momentum capital L. The atomic state is denoted by using the term symbol 2s plus 1 Lj. Here 2s plus 1 is written as a superscript of L and J is written as a subscript of L. Here 2s plus 1 we already know it is a multiplicity and capital S is the vectorial sum of the spin angular momentum of each electron. L is the L value of that state and J is the J value which uh, arises from L plus S to L minus S. So for uh, L equals to 0 we have S state. For 
L equals to 1 we have a P state for L equals to 2 we have a D state and for L equals to 3 we have a F state and so on now let us consider some examples of the spectral notations uh, we have here the example of hydrogen atom in ground state its electronic configuration is 1s1 so there is an atom in uh, s orbital s orbital for the electron means l equals to 0 and here we are considering the first orbit which is corresponds to n equals to 1 so for hydrogen atom in ground state n equals to 1 l equals to 0 and for l equals to 0 we have the value of orbital magnetic quantum number ml as ml equals to 0 and uh, we already know that for one electron only spin is always half and for that the magnetic spin quantum number ms equals to plus half and so uh, we have here the electronic state which is same as the ground uh, atomic state so here atomic state is same as the electronic state because there is a single electron and uh, we have here uh, atomic state of the hydrogen atom which is in a ground state as n equals to 1 l equals to 0 ml equals to 0 and ms equals to half these four quantum numbers gives the atomic as well as electronic state of the hydrogen atom in ground state and therefore uh, we have here uh, to write atomic state state of atom in a spectral notation as a 2 s plus 1 superscript l j subscript will be here 2s plus 1 will be equals to 2 because here s equals to half single electron is there and which corresponds to doublet 2s plus 1 will be doublet multiplicity will be 2 and here small l value is 0 so capital L value is also 0 because there is only one electron so capital L equals to 0 which gives us the s state capital S and j value will be l plus s to l minus so s here l is 0 s is a half so l plus s will be half also l minus s will be also half so the state of the atom the spectral notation of the state will be 2 s half and it is read as a doublet s half so the uh, state of the atom of the hydrogen atom in ground state is the doublet s half okay in this superscript in this notation superscript gives the multiplicity and subscript give the value of g now here uh, consider a second example we have a example as a write the atomic state for l equals to 2 and s equals to half now here we have given the value of orbital angular momentum of the atom and the spin angular momentum of the atom so s equals to half gives us the multiplicity 2 as calculated here and l equal to 2 means a d states d states and here we have the two values of j l plus s to l minus s so 2 plus half will be 5 by 2 and 2 minus half will be 3 by 2 so there are two values of j which are 3 by 2 and 5 by 2 and so in the spectral notation we will have uh, for l equals to 2 and s equals to half we will get the two terms two spectral terms uh, which are 2d 3 by 2 and 2d 5 by 2 and which are read as doublet d 3 halves and doublet d 5 halves so these are the two uh, spectral notations for the energy terms let us consider one more example here and here we have to write the atomic state for l equals to 3 and s equals to half here also the value of total spin quantum number is a half and that's why the multiplicity will be 2 that is a doublet state and uh, l equals to 3 here and that's why the value of j will be from 3 minus half which is a 5 by 2 and 3 plus half which is a 7 by 2 so there will be only two values of j which are 5 by 2 and 7 by 2 and therefore l equals to 3 we have f state there will be two states uh, first state will be doublet f 5 halves and the second step will be 
uh, second state has a spectral notation as a doublet f7 by 2 or doublet f7 halves. So for L equals to 3 and L equals to half, we will get multiplicity 2 values of J as uh, 5 by 2 and 7 by 2 and uh, the spectral notations of the two terms at two energy levels will be 2 f 5 by 2 and 2 f 7 by 2. Here again we have the next example as uh, here we have to find the s value, l value and uh, j values that corresponds to the following terms. Here we have given the four terms in this example 1 s 0 or singlet S0, triplet P2, doublet D3 halves and doublet P2. This four, for these four terms, we have to find the values of S, L and J. So let's consider the first term, which is a singlet S0. Here you can observe that the value of L will be 0 because S state is there. For S state, value of L is 0 and uh, value of s can be calculated from the multiplicity here the multiplicity is given as a one singlet term so 2s plus 1 equals to 1 uh, which will give us s equals to 0 we already know that and hence j will be l plus s to l minus s here both l and s are 0 so j will be 0 the next spectral notation is a triplet p2 here you can observe that the value of L will be 1 because P states corresponds to L equals to 1. The value of multiplicity is a 3, it is a triplet and that's why value of S will be 1. And therefore the value of J will be 0, 1 and 2. In this case the value of J is 2. And for the term 2D 3 by 2, we have here L equals to 2, it is a doublet D 3 halves. So L equals to 2 because D is there, D states corresponds to L equals to 2 and the doublets will give me the value of S as a half and hence the value of J will be 2 plus half to 2 minus half which is a 5 by 2 and 3 by 2 and here they have uh, taken the value of J as 3 by 2. Similarly for the 2P2 that is a doublet P2, in this case we have uh, L equals to 1 because P state is there and uh, multiplicity is 2 and that's why the value of s is a half and uh, there here you can observe that the value of j is written as a 2 actually it should be the value of the you can observe that i have taken this example as a case but uh, there cannot be a state like 2p2 because the value of j cannot be 2 here because the value of l is 1 and the value of s is half that's why value of j should be 1 plus half which is a 3 by 2 and 1 minus half which is a half so the term either it should be written as a doublet p half or a doublet p 3 by 2 you cannot write the term as a doublet p 2 so this last term is wrong the, you cannot write the spectral notation term as 2 p 2 okay so here in the Today's lecture, we have uh, learned about the spectral notation. Based on that, uh, students have to solve some assignments. And uh, first uh, assignment, first question for the assignment is, uh, student have to write the atomic state for L equals to 3 and S equals to 1. And also student have to find the S, L and J values for the spectral notation of doublet F5 halves. Okay, let me quickly summarize what we have seen in this lecture. We have seen that the total angular momentum of the atom is uh, nothing but the vector sum of the orbital angular momentum of the atom and the spin angular momentum of the atom. That is J bar equals to L bar plus S bar. And the coupling between L bar and S bar is known as the Russell Sounder coupling. The total angular momentum J bar is also quantized like of the L bar and S bar and it is given by j bar equals to square root of small j j plus 1 h cross where small j is the total angular momentum quantum number of the atom and the allowed values of j are from l plus s to l minus s with the difference of 1 
in general there are a 2s plus when one values are different values of j and whenever l is less than s then there are a 2l plus one different values of j and each value of j gives a separate atomic state and that state is indicated by a term symbol or spectral notation as a superscript multiplicity 2s plus 1 l and j as shown here here 2s plus 1 is the multiplicity and uh, in this case capital s is the total spin quantum uh, total spin momentum total spin angular momentum of the atom which is the vector sum of the spin angular momentum of individual electron and l is the resultant orbital angular momentum of atom which is the vector sum of the angular moment orbital angular momentum of individual electron so in this way you can uh, write the spectral notations for the atom in the upcoming lecture we will study about the spin orbit interaction thank you